and welcome. Today's video is going to be a, uh, an off-centre bowl which was inspired by an article I read in the UK wood turning magazine. It looked rather interesting so I thought I'd give it a bash. And the subject matter is going to be this 8.5 inch by 2 inch wall and blank, bowl blank that was sent to me very kindly by Tom Scandian quite some time ago um, from here in the UK. I did say I'd do it Tom and uh, I finally got around to it mate. So uh, <clears throat> that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, I'd like to give a shout out too to a guy called Mark Bade and uh, Mark's from the US. He's recently started a channel um, which I presume will be mainly wood turning. Um, there's also a great video on there of him building his own lathe, how he built his own lathe, uh, based loosely around the um, lathe zilla that Captain Eddie Castling has got. Brilliant bit of watching that is, so go over there and have a look at that. So that's Mark Bade, and uh, looking forward to lots more videos from you, Mark. And uh, I'll put a link down below, as I usually do. So pop over to his channel and subscribe and like his videos and give him all the support that you can. So without further ado, we'll go over to the lathe and start turning a an off-centre walnut bowl and I'll see you at the lathe. Okay. So um, I found the centre of the blank and I have drawn a circle the same diameter as my 75mm or 3 inch faceplate. So I've now screwed the faceplate on. You might think overkill, six screws, but if there's six holes I like to fill them just to make sure. Um, so we'll now mount that on the lathe and we'll true up the edge and the face and uh, we'll start turning. And I'll be using a, a half inch bowl gouge and true up the, the edge and the face. And I'll be turning at about about a thousand revs, something like that. Handle nicely down. Just light strokes. So now the main reason for doing this is to clean up because I want to draw some uh, circles on there which will become apparent in a second why I'm doing that. <coughs> so um, we'll now go imagine 75 mil around here. What I'm going to do, I'm keeping, this is the uh, radius of my face plate. Okay, now there's the center. That's much larger than I would have wanted, but nevertheless that's the centre of the blank. Now I'm off, that little hull there, whether you can see it, or that little mark there, is the offset. Now I'm going to do a 15 millimetre offset. As the, <laughs> as the pen breaks. Okay, now what I have to do now is to the pencil in. Uh, while I'm doing that, just to explain, what will happen now is that the that will be the offset base and that is when I reaffix the face plate to there to hollow out the bowl section. So what I have to do now is take the centre there and make sure that the foot of the bowl or the rim of the bowl um, does not go less than the edge of the circle at its widest point which is there. So again if I draw a circle 
there. The face plate will be completely on the foot, so there won't be any overhanging on the edge, so that's for safety um, reasons really. Just to let you know what the three rings represent, the outer ring is the foot, the inner ring, that one there, is the um, circle in which the face plate will go when I swap it round, and this ring here is the ring where the uh, face plate will go when I off center hollow out the bowl. Looking okay. Okay, so I've sanded the bowl now up to uh, six, 600, power sanded it. So from the foot to whatever the edge is when I've uh, trued up the other side, that's going to be um, coated now with sanding sealer mix. Actually put two coats of wax on here. I'm going to try a third light coat, which is something I don't normally do, but um, I thought I'd give it a try because this, the grain on this is absolutely beautiful, and uh, I just thought, well, we'll give it a go and see how it looks after three coats. Okay, we'll let that dry a bit and I'll give it a final buff. Okay, that's had a few minutes to uh, to go off, five minutes or so, so just a final uh, burnish now with a clean paper towel. Just light pressure and that's that bit done. It's come up beautiful, beautiful markings on there, Tom. As, as with the other Tom that sent me um, a piece of walnut from the States. But this has got lovely wavy, wavy grain to it. It's really, really good, really good. Okay, so um, we'll go to the next okay, stage. So what I'm going to do now is remove the bowl from the lathe, take off the face plate, and then I will reattach the face plate to the central okay, area. Okay, so we're going to be using a, uh, again, the half inch um, bowl gouge to throw up the face now. Okay, so what I shall do now is to sand and um, sanding sealer, put sanding sealer on, 
two coats as usual, the same as for the other side, and put the wax on and finish this side. Obviously the holes are still there, but don't worry about that for now. Then I'll remove the faceplate, reattach it to the off-center position on the back, and then hollow out. Okay, so I've got it um, finished now. That uh, the, the front of the bowl, or the top of the bowl if you like, has been sanded to 600, um, <coughs> sanding sealer applied, and three coats of wax like on the on the underside and now I will attach uh, take off take it off the faceplate reattach the faceplate to the off center position on the base and we'll hollow out um, and we'll take it from there okay welcome back again uh, a couple of days have gone by now um, I had a bit of a problem, and uh, what it was, as I was, uh, as I put the faceplate onto the off-center position, uh, I was checking for clearance on the tool rest, and it caught, and it chipped the edge. So what I've done, I've put a, a chamfer on the edge. I don't know if it shows it there. Oh, struck me. And I put a chamfer on the edge, as opposed to having to bring the whole bowl right the way down and losing about, I don't know, just over half an inch, uh, just under half an inch. So I've done that now and I quite like that. So it's a design change which I'm rather pleased I've had to do. Um, so what I'm about to do now is to um, take off this face plate, reposition it and um, remount and hollow the bowl out. So the bowl is now mounted on the lathe um, in the off-center situation. Uh, it now remains to decide how much lip you want. Just take a parting tool and make a mark. Now remember, you're off-center. To be mindful nice. of is that the screw holes here go in approximately half an inch and the screw holes in the back go in approximately half an inch so it only gives me about half an inch ish of depth of bowl because I have to turn away the inside of the foot now in an ideal situation this would be better on a on something like a three inch blank because then you can turn a lot of the foot away to get rid of the screw holes and still have enough um, wood to, to make a foot on the base. So um, we, we have to be very mindful of that. So I'm just going to take a 3 8 bowl gouge now and um, start turning and as I say because we are um, off centre be mindful of the revs, make sure that before you turn on that the um, it's either on zero or at the very lowest setting because you will get some imbalance. sand this up now, come back when I'm about to put the finish okay. on the bowl. Um, another little um, mishap if you like, um, the knot became very loose and almost flew out when I was sanding so I've had to uh, CA glue that in 
and um, there's a hole in the middle of the knot so I've got a pencil in there with the tool rest up against it to apply pressure so hopefully that will um, sort it. I get that dry and I'll carry on sanding and then uh, I'll come back to you as I said before when I um, am applying the last coat of wax. Okay, I'm quite pleased with that. Lovely markings Tom, absolutely beautiful. Um, the knot I think is a nice feature. Um, with a bit of thought I could have actually had the knot if you like in this area um, by putting the offset uh, for the face plate on the other side of the um, circumference. But there you go. Um, I, I don't think it's, apart from having to CA it in, I don't think it's a problem. I do like character bits of features and inclusions etc in pieces because I think it adds, adds to them. Anyway, I'm quite pleased the way that's turned out. Now of course we've got to turn it round and uh, turn away the screw holes uh, in the middle of the, um, of the base. Okay, so I'm just going to buff up the uh, the base now. And I'll say it one more time, the base is much deeper than I really wanted it to be, but of course we have to get rid of the um, screw holes. But on a, th on a thicker blank it would have been a problem. The base would have been about half as deep and we wouldn't have lost any of the depth of the bowl. However, first time I've done one, I'm quite pleased with the result. Um, also, um, I shall be investing in a bristle brush um, for applying wax to uh, detail like this when I'm putting wax in because you've got to get it into the right the way in and it's difficult with a toothbrush. But nevertheless, I think it's looked, it's ended up looking Okay, we can, I think it's past muster, just. So, um, thank you very much for watching. Just, and I'll put some photographs up at the end. It's, it's turned out quite well. Learned a few things that I think I do differently. Um, but all in all, quite a successful project and uh, I hope you give it a go and thanks once again Mr Scandian for this piece of walnut um, I hope you think I've done it justice <laughs> anyway thanks very much for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe cheers now